My parents were both um, very keen photographers and uh, we always had cameras lying around at home. And just the, the ability to be able to pick up a camera you know, at a young age and take some photos, I think, um, was a, a, a good guidance. I got my first full-time job in 1999 with uh, leading newspapers in Melbourne. I wasn't young at that stage. I was um, been trying for, I think, you know, s several years before that to try and uh, get a job there. It definitely took a while. I was working in a photographic mini lab for five years before that and just basically going out um, after work and on weekends and just trying to shoot as much as I could. The last uh, two years have been pretty hectic. I mean, especially you look this year at um, a lot of the disasters and devastation that's happened. I got to go to Queensland twice um, just to cover the, some of the stuff that was happening there with the floods and the cyclone. This big storm came came over, you know, one week after, and everyone's just looking and going, oh no, is this going to happen again? You can see the bus stop there is, um, you know, nearly fully submerged underwater. So there's a road under there, and then, you know, here you've got this sign saying, here's to summer, you know, and everyone's underwater. And the house has just been washed off its stilts. But, you know, they've still got the flag flying. Uh, this is a shot of um, a lady up in uh, Tully after the, the cyclone had gone through. Her roof had been ripped clean off the house, uh, and but she had nowhere else to go. Inside, and she's got a, like a broom where she was sweeping the mud out of her home. She was obviously very proud of it. And, um, but it was uh, one, of, one of those shots where I just, I was hoping it would, you know, try and give people understanding what, what people were left with, you know, so much devastation. Black Saturday, get our fair share of uh, bushfires down here. So um, every summer you sort of um, all ready to go. And this cloud is um, the smoke from King Lake. It basically just took off and it looked like a volcanic eruption. And all of a sudden this, this plume was just getting bigger and bigger. And that's when I knew, like if anyone survived it, I need to get up there and uh, document it. It took me about six hours to walk the 11 k's. Um, I basically just packed everything I needed um, to get me through, you know, water, water laptop cameras. It's a um, 737 scurrying. All the, the airliners were um, trying to get past this cloud because it was all of a sudden expanding and just getting huge. Got into this community and it was just this, it really looks like what you'd expect hell to be or something that's stereotypical, just everything's orange. Um, there's fire, everything's on fire, you know, there's flames everywhere. In Christchurch, um, we basically came on the TV and got a phone call saying, um, can you go? And so, you know, it was basically grab, grab what you had and, and get out there and get to the airport and try and find a flight. 99% of the time, stuff happens with breaking news, so you're just sort of scrambling to try and get on the road and, and get there. This was the uh, CTV building and it just shows you sort of the utter carnage and you know they're searching for people and, and listening for to see if they can hear anyone. Uh, it's just all rubble and you know that several stories collapsed on top of each other and uh, it's just incredible to think that um, you know people may have been trapped in there. It's always tough, it's never easy, um, you know it's probably one of the, the hardest things that we do. Um, going to a situation like that where you know you, you've got to cover it um, just because it is happening and it has happened um, but it, it's never easy just going out and uh, into a situation and say well how can I sum this up um, how can I capture you know an image that represents you know what's happening and, and it's not just um, when things go bad you know it's when things go good as well it's probably one of my you know, favourite things of the job. You get to meet these people and experience you know, their lives and, and talk to them and share stuff with them. And you do feel privileged you know, being a part of it.